So while we're still here, that's very on helpful. The first person experience, the player experience. It's, it's, it's this is much better than just another flyable ship, in my opinion. This just the, the, the player before we move into ships and bigger stuff. Um, legends and ladders. Oh, uh, you know, everybody knows the, the struggles of uh, elevators in the persistent universe, but that's not the only way to, you know, traverse the universe to get around and stuff. Uh, I understand that you guys have made a number of improvements to mantling over ledges and how to use ladders. I mean, Legend and Ladders is kind of... Uh, it's the best game I ever played. It's like a board game. game. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Uh, it, it's kind of a I just want that ladders to be on, slightly I mean, less grabby. Because currently yeah, in the PU, if you go anywhere near a ladder, you just stick to it. And, you know, just from general yeah. It's crazy. Uh, feels, unless you walk up to it backwards. Of, you know, the backwards. Yeah. There's, there's this one hallway ground, in the uh, freaking Starfarer so where it's it's like impossible to just go straight down the hallway because there's like a ladder there and it's so narrow that you just always always grab the ladder. It's super annoying. You know, it's kind of frustrating. You're like, oh, it's just right there. If this was real life, I it just needs to be like slightly and wider and have the, so the first part, ladder be slightly less grabby. <laughs> oh, so that you can, actually so you can grab ledges off. as you go down now. Uh, which adds just, That's good. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's huge. Because because we, we before you had to be traveling now, upwards it's, to it's, grab a ledge. Yeah. Night and and day because like especially you escaping prison, dude. Yeah. It's very difficult to judge like right on the edge. So we can add a bit more challenge to the traversal so that you're actually moving around. Elevator sequels deadliest foes in the verse. They are. And the other side of things, which... Number two being like stairs. Oh, improved ladders. Yeah. But so again, what they could do with the ladder is improved thing, ladder system right now. You get onto a ladder. Is, you're um, looking bolt straight forward at the wall. You're locked. You can't look around. You have no. What they did awareness. with the um, just, like like looking it. at things to press you're F. In, you can't get off. So basically, away, you, you queue up off. walking up a ladder. So you're walking yeah. out it. You press F on the ladder, no, no, but you exactly. still have so control of your character. Kind of yeah. It's just as you get closer, you get ready to go up the ladder, and you go up the ladder, but you have to do that first. You can jump onto a ladder directly. You can attack. You can run and yeah. jump onto a ladder. You can look around full 360 degrees. You can look around 90 degrees oh, as good. you're going up. That's going to be nice. You know, and it's just a lot that's more great. fluid and a lot more. You know, it doesn't feel like oh, I've just now I'm locked in. It just feels like you're more yeah. of a human being on the ladder, and you can look around. And then obviously, <laughs> if you can look behind you on a ladder, that opens up environment. You know, opens up scope. That's to true. Especially if you can hang on the edge of the ledges. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can jump off. That'll get some nice parkour, especially in the low gravity so stuff. A, That'll be really nice. Yeah. I mean, with, in Squadron One. Yeah, that a could lot be cool. Traversal gameplay in, uh, which will uh, make its way into the PU when all these sort of systems settle and i think you'll see a lot more i mean you already see a little bit where you know you could use a tractor gun yeah. to put a crate over or push something to get up and look at stuff in the derelicts right now i think tractor beams might need to get nerfed imagine a whole level above that maybe kind of what's in squadron because I mean, kind of like um, even that in the derelict i think because really we've seen uh we've seen a uh, thing for like there's a lot of, like a uh, bigger like heavy duty tractor beam, beam gun, like, like a rifle, rifle sized one. That, yeah, like a rifle sized. And I think you might, world, like, if you needed that to move like larger crates, yeah. stuff like that. Like the small one, like the pistol one, can only move crates that could be like moved by hand. Imagine. Because that one's going to be strong enough. Because, you know, if you're in space with the small one, you can launch yourself. Yeah. Imagine with the big one, you can do that on land. Like, in normal, you can do that. That would be like, funny. Kind of yeah, like a grappling. That would probably be uh, slightly overpowered, but... Seeing anyone, well, just do it just, at the very least, you know, slow your descent. Yeah, that would be nice. Those are all things that but if you're able to pick up big, uh, so big little, old, like, little things like, like um, this, and, and I would say, I mean, we've got a video, just have it be show, limited in some way. Still, yeah. you know, like some of the finesse of the, the animation detail is still to come. So, this is a lot of it. Is, yeah, uh, is the block, block out. out, but you know, we, you know, we, we have this beautiful motion yeah. capture stage motion here that we will show you guys. At uh, some point when M the Manchester Goods Yards and the stage are fully finished, and then Jared when you're like when you're like interacting with objects, like picking stuff up, it would be great if like if if you're uh, not much, like if uh, you choose to not put it in your hand. <laughs> um, anyway, if they just not uh, play an animation so, for it. Uh, but I, 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 so like, I don't need to see the anime, that, the 10 second long animation of me picking the thing up and then shall get it in my pocket every time. Jump and you just make it, you know, you're going to, uh, you know, 
catch your balance and do that sort of stuff. So that's not in yeah, here. Yeah, or sort of at least have a smooth transition. So it will like, have that sense of you in first person. Yeah. Feeling like have a separate animation instead of two animations so that it goes like, <clears throat> so you pick and, up and, and then go to the neutral I mean, and then the from the neutral you go into putting stuff, it in your bag. You sort of see if it's yeah. just even in the block animation, straight in. but there'll be much more yeah. in the, the final version. But we probably should yeah, let's, run the video if we can. Okay, we got a video. So obviously this, this as you can see, art. this is Dude, final okay. art. Dude, playing That's Mirror's Edge now, dog. That looked pretty good. Test map. Bro. You can see here that, as Chris <clears> said, it, 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 the, the, you know, the I level hope. of inertia is, is still... There's going to be like phase, some kind of like character skill level. Starting to get, that you can grab on, oh. you can go straight into a mantle. Or okay, a this is actually... Oh, just that looks much better. Blocks. That's much more fluid. What seeing here is, you know, while this is just an test map, a lot of these are providing design ethos to then feed into the PU. That's a lot so more fluid than and it was before. Dude, in. if they had, all I gotta do is add wall jumps and wall runs yeah. and it's like Mirror's Edge. Like, it's actually, did, like, really nice. He did still nice. kind right of there, snap to that ladder slightly, top, but, yeah, but that, it's not just, nearly you know, as bad as it has been. Oh, being able to jump off ladders, ladder that's so good. Slide down it, you can do all sorts of things. Uh, and it's just some, they just need to work on the dynamic animation a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, but being but able it's, to jump onto them. It's, it's but much better the than it was before. The the opportunity that they have to get on the ladder there. Again, for like, like jumping up onto a ladder yeah. and like having like, like, you know, like doing it horizontally onto oh, is the this ladder. In, no, is this in one of the, the underground there. facilities? <laughs> it looks like anyway. it. That it looks, looks like good. a yeah, thing as well. To our spaceship. Yeah, I mean the other thing to say about uh, about the traverse. I've seen this game somewhere like before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It that was very Mirror's Edge. Here. The, the other thing is like we're also edge. you know we've taken deep dive on things like good game. I wonder I wonder if they'll open up coming up map creation. For example, if you're sprinting, you would arena commander just before you're sprinting and star You might be holding probably not. I think and now, be, what happens now if you then it'd be cool, it, but stop like because they've got the building blocks for want to continue shooting, racing, still holding the, the yeah. like you know that because they have already what we're kind of so if they did something like Trackmania, where you can build something that we've, maps we've got a whole matrix for like PTV of racing all the and different stuff like controls, that. all the different methods from yeah. the crouch, the transitions. Or, you know, weapon swapping and like so that. Just let us host again, pro using the control before that. Just let us host fluid, private, more, um, uh, intuitive. So it's something that we're really, and... really putting a really magnifying glass on to making sure that you're not fighting the controls. The controls are working for you. It's doing what you want it to do. So if you are using a gamepad or you are, I pushed the wrong button. You are using mouse and keyboard. It's, uh, it's easy to, I was gonna use, say, easy to interact with the world so that you can immerse yourself in let us the environment, like and the private and the gameplay. So. It's something that Matches we're really, in really pushing manner. forward and, to, and, to make yeah, that. Yeah. Aspect, right? Cause, you used to you know, be able to, Prone's didn't you? Prone's one of the things that Well, you can on yeah, Arena Commander. Yeah, you just can't on Star Marine. Yeah, right. But well, you can uh, on both. You know, the crouch is <clears> the bait. The you, can't, you, can't so, you can't do... So right you can't just do, like, free fly. And so we've really taken... Oh, like, with friends. And to make everything a lot more fluid. Like, what kind of free fly is a good example? Just, um, but also, just to you know, go like, in and like level, fly a ship around. Done a complete <clears> on, in it, um, I like, thought you yeah, could, EDA like in the that big map, like the. You can the either do it. You um, can either do it you know, by yourself, or it cues um, you in with a bunch of randos. We talk a little bit about that. We have a video to show of that, but it's a complete redo of. The you can't do it where it's like just you uh, and your friends. And has I've done it in the past with just me and my friends on racing when you're in. In space you might be able to on racing, off, um, but uh, but just on like free flight, you can't. Now. So if you push off in a direction, you will just keep huh. moving in a direction. Uh, <clears> it's really annoying. It's far more easy I didn't know that. Yeah. handling weapons and looking around. And some of the tech that we've developed for the push pull is the same stuff that will be that we're going to be using for prone and a bunch of other stuff. And, mm. and really, the looking around on the ladders is kind of. Based on some of yeah, I mean, to be honest, a lot for of those systems and are, I mean, when Chris says push-pull, he means zero-g push-pull, not yeah. trolley push-pull. Because those are um, also pretty yes, janky right now. But when we talk <laughs> about uh, prone, EVA right. G2 and zero-g, the biggest thing Please is... Please fix the okay, physics again, on again, the pushables. Just be, be in EVA right now. In the They're system, so bad. Look left. They're so bad it, right now. You don't have a stability of, of you, you know, if you're a human being, you look left. If your horizon doesn't change because you move your head and it's the same. Our, our camera like tilts and moves and then you get into a scenario where you're like, you, you can't really understand the perspective of where you're in. It's like, oh, I'm now upside down. 
So EV82, mm. which again, you'll be able to see a clip of it working. That's going to be nice. It, it's, yeah, it's so you can turn. It is okay, this is going to be really nice. We basically nice. threw the old one away, and this is a Thank fundamental goodness. change. Because EVA is oh. awful. Working EVA. First off, you're not so they just completely you're redid uh, uh, EVA from the ground up. That's forward. nice. We still retain the upright pose mm -hmm. for certain circumstances. <clears> but it means that you've got a better sense of your actual volume when you're traversing forward. So you've not got these legs that you know are beneath you. Uh, but you can totally look around <laughs> 360 degrees. Your camera is stable. So you can you, you get a good orientation. When you look back, you you know you see your body. It's fully decoupled, so you're not just pushing forward and you're flying like a spaceship. You push forward, and that Thank gives you goodness. an initial inertia in that direction, and you will keep going in that direction until you change. But then when you want to change, you just need to look at another direction and you push that way. And the way we've implemented it, it's almost like your suit's kind of similar to. Um, the IFCS on the ship, so that it kind of like counters okay. the forces and then allows you to go in that way. We actually originally tried it where you would drift and, you know, actually do the curve, but it just made mm. traversing more intricate spaces, which is what we want to do. And you know, eventually we want to be able to turn gravity. Mm -hmm. and the oh, so they take so down. they oh, they decided to go for less you know, less realistic network, physics um, slightly no, for this. Segment. That's one mm, of the so all, they all those that, um, tight, intricate areas. They have it so that, that your suit auto. So instead of well, yes, yes, that's that's what they um, that's what they say. Yeah, but go into those tight that's not what areas. they. Yeah. You need it to be stable. That's not for gameplay. What I mean, in a position where you yeah. can turn on a dime, that you can look upside down. That you, you it makes a, sense a little bit of sense. You know, your yeah. orientation. So instead of a curve, no, no, I'm no, I'm saying I'm saying it's a I'm saying it's a good decision because it makes it. It makes it more user friendly. I th <coughs> think they should implement that onto spaceship flight as well. Something I'd also similar, say the other thing where you can have it where your forward thrust, to you. not so like much like uh, like another flight mode, because sort of uh, that's yeah. like partially EVA decoupled. Is part of its where setup, you turn and you press every, W or forward, and it auto. So we're gonna separate it thrust you have to have so that like you'll yeah. except well you know a spaceship you do want to have that curve. Yeah, it auto does that right so that you don't have one. I think then, with the, I think you know, with a spaceship, push -push, you know, so you can move they have so much more mass that it them, you come close to makes sense grab, that but, it takes a while. Um, it takes a lot longer to change direction, whereas people we so don't we have, this physical eye have yeah, nearly as much mass, happens, so it you well, don't actually need it's easier to, have to have just your, you know, change EVA directions. Uh, I mean, yeah, but like, I mean, when you're flying decoupled, having some counter thrust automatically applied so that instead of like having to look like if you're trying to turn 45 degrees to the right, you have to turn your ship if you do around if you want to do just forward thrust, you'd have to turn your ship around 50 to 60 degrees and then turn it back to the 45 degrees to go in that direction. So and the change would be. The ship. Still decoupled, but you turn your ship to right 45 now. degrees, and then you start um, thrusting that well, way. But and there's just a auto does I, a little I, bit I of yeah, yeah, thrust. Yeah, just automatically uh, just to slows down your more more and more the pretty in that direction. And so you're going to more quickly you start going direct that way without having to have the extremely small micro corrections. Yeah. Right now, everybody. Yeah. No, I get I get what you're saying. That would be nice. Yeah. We have just having as an option because if you're using flight sticks, you know, you might not need that, and you might not want that because you might want to have control over that but on mouse and keyboard yeah. and you want to be in yeah having that be an option i think that would be again a lot more user friendly for like newer players for sure especially newer players on mouse and keyboard which is the majority yeah. you know wandering because landing in anything other than decoupled mode sucks social maybe they don't let you go in there so we want um and so being able to have a more easily Where controlled things, decoupled uh, mode have yeah. storage would be the whole point of would, the physical, uh, as long as it feels uh, fluid and natural uh, yes yeah. roll out more yes. of it's coming and in that the is and then in the that is kind of the balance that they have to uh, and, you know, things that we're doing like that with the you know the uh, cargo the balance that they have to if you look at all the new ships dance along locker and storage yeah, for sure is, you know, we have a whole where um, for, you know trying to make things now, feel it's realistic it's but also not so realistic that it so impacts the like a user experience and and but on. that it but still feels good into another outfit or so for an example if you're playing in coupled yeah so we, we want it we want um, it to, you know and you know you're holding down W, yeah. So you're going forward, you're going up the seat that you spec, you, you set, and you turn 45 degrees to the right. You can wear yeah. the different roles. You know now you're thrusting and, this you know, way, EVA and you're turning 45 degrees to the, the right. Parts of that and basically where, like saying, 
you either have do that, VA but with W, not, but with front forward being to, decoupled, essentially. Yeah. We should probably run the video like, so we can <clears> bring it back but, around. And then only doing that whenever you press W. So you can like fly forwards and turn where there's no thrust going through and you press W and then auto, and then essentially it goes back into coupled mode. Um, but you're accelerating in that direction now. That looks like a lot better. What is, what are they, what are they flying up to? It's also the LVFX. So we haven't part of the proper, this is a, a current PU suit versus oh, a big old satellite. What, we'll what is one with the that? Oh, he's like holding on to it. The thrusters in the right position, and when you go forward, the thrusters going from the back. So what you're actually seeing here is you've you've actually connected oh, you're crawling. To this surface. So now it's almost like that's you're in so a prone cool. situation. But this is going to be what what more our new prone will be. Again, you've got full 360 degrees. You can just move your mouse and you look all the way behind and, you or all the way in front. And right now we're moving oh. along here. Not because it's a thrusting, much better looking prone. Hands exactly, it is. Ourselves but also, that, that location looks we awesome. The person it here, does. you can sort of see us moving our hands around. I think we'll see it <laughs> later on. There we go. Dude, it's like, <laughs> it's like when you're in the shallow end of a pool yeah. and you're just floating along. there and you're like, and if we wanted to, pushing yeah, yourself just forward, literally just push pulling yourself it, along. And then we would just go, yeah, I wish it was a they have like magnets or something in the tips of the. Fingers of the gloves. So what you're yeah, here, just, yeah, he just yeah. I was going to say, if, I was, so yeah. what you're seeing if here, he did something like that, maybe, um, kind of, you're just floating that's cool. alongside the actual um, this fin. Oh, that that's that so much better. And then if you did, and that's just if they did an in between of that, where he did it like slowly, so like one hand, jump off into space, one hand, but then this becomes yeah. So you're going faster, but with a little bit of control, jumping and mantling and vaulting. This is where we have zero g push pull. We have the tractor beam that kind of pulls you around an EVA, and then we have your EVA pack, which is limited. So you get fuel down to the oxygen. EVA fuel. Was it was it always oxygen? So this allows you to kind of manipulate and, and go in EVA, and allows us as developers to build EVA traverses. Oh, that's spaces. nice. Ooh, Why that's a really fluid animation there. Ooh, that's, yeah, here's, that that looks here's really nice. So if they go to the yeah, other side, is he going to put the other hand on to look? Oh, that's good. You what does. Yeah, I think your stream's a little bit behind. Mine. So there's a lot of. I mean, yeah, I think it's slightly still behind. Block out animations actually, but so there'll be a lot more like nuance. It's fine. Fidelity to it's it. not yeah. laggy. Yeah, you have you have yeah, a lot more um, control. Uh, you know, directional sense. That looks great. Uh, that's such a that's yeah. such an improvement to the current uh, EVA so when you know, one, where you're you're basically just T posing through space. Let's <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> be like honest. It's yeah. basically just T posing through space. Which like, that's a know, fine position to be in as you're like getting yeah. closer to something. Uh, you'll see, uh, like it, it could do like a dynamic. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like like what it did right there. Yeah. Put our hands out to brace ourselves to stop ourselves on the glass. Is that a blood stain? Uh, so all of that's like systemic. It's that's not that's yeah. not much. So like coming into like uh, you know like into like a cargo bay things. that way you yeah. don't just brace like, yourself when you come up against fall down, fall down arrest you. <laughs> yeah, just face plant. Just so we but just yeah, this but this this like feels a, this feels a lot more natural. Not I think just for squadron, it does a lot better yeah, than the um, obviously useful, especially if they have it somehow. Like if you're going down. Look like down so you're going into the top the of a ship area. like yeah. like you can on the uh, but yeah the use of a couple in, of the ships uh, yeah because you know, um, i think like you'll because i think if you like were around, i think if you were moving around no in eva you on your own climb you all over a ship you probably want to take a more streamlined position because that feels more relaxed to me anyways has a surface and just look in the direction that you're going rather than you know being all like put your hands on it you don't uh, gotta worry about there's not there's no whole time like quite it really works in this scenario. Yeah. It only works in this scenario. It's it is what you see here. And then fit as through what, what tighter we've not spaces. been able to show today, which is we yeah, have yeah. Have more easily as well, without having to like hold space yeah. you while you're staring at a wall. Tight environments. If there are handholds, you will be able to grab onto that handhold, or whether it's a terminal or whether it's you know, a yeah, hatch nice, to get into dynamic. Ship, you'll grab onto the handhold. This is what people, then, you know, instead of it's crazy because this is what landing, people went crazy about off, with and then you because Unreal Engine and 5 has this built in. Yeah. I can look around and again, so it's crazy that like locked, they're managing to do the exact same thing as like degrees, Unreal Engine 5 is industry leading you for around, and you can get yeah. Yeah. Okay, game, okay, where do I want to go uh, next? I want to go over there. Cool. I want to go through this door. And it looks like it yes, it kind of did, but it also looks great. It's fundamentally definitely. 
definitely an thought, improvement on the previous it's, systems. It's just, I really like that. No, I mean, it's, it's I really thought game, at first so he was doing like an I army crawl across. Sort of <laughs> I think that'd be a lot creepier because imagine. Yeah. Uh, the well, that's that's like what games that's games what current so prone so is. I think it's just like just like a weird army crawl across ground that but built from that because we don't say really like have a, a lot of stuff down on planets and you only have like a small like, like only the lower half of the a, cave you know, has yeah. gravity so, so you're down there in the bottom and you look up and you just see some of the army crawling across TBA, the roof uh, I think, <laughs> you know, love science fiction you like like <laughs> honestly kind of scary kind of games um that you know there's that's sort of a lot of classic sci-fi or if or if you're in or if you're in, you know, your that's, ship that's, and that's someone that's just like an example of just like crawls like that across like your cockpit the system to work That'll be and bed it in. That'll be spooky. Because we did two or three iterations. You know, we did two or three iterations. How we wanted to do it. Do we want to have this Iron Man pose? Do we want to have the upright? I hope that they've mentioned a little bit about three eighteen. And we were playing it and playing it. It's like I don't feel right. And now you can just, you you know it when you get it right because you can just go. Where's the poop? Where's the poop mechanics? And you just end up flying around the level and connecting. That's when the Benny Merchant comes out to fix the bathroom. This unlocks content. Tier zero. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I I purposely didn't watch the videos. I wanted to be able to react as honestly while we're recording as possible. And I know you said those are blockout animations. Those are pretty good blockout animations. Ben with Steve Bender on a Friday night at the Oust House. Like that looks just like. Steve Bender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> around. So, sorry, sorry, Steve. Uh, but no, it looks great, and uh, I think everybody Those who saw that out is going to see the potential, the, the absolute gameplay potential. For I mean, just like being able to shoot zero, while holding on to like something. Yeah. Really yeah. Cool. No, that, that, that's great. I wonder if you can get magic really shoes. Well, the, I mean, there's some smaller things. And like be able to walk along the one of middle things. Here we have a video. Wonder if that'll be. That would be cool. Like in the expanse, the mag like mag boots. EVA replacement, but like the hover trolley. Mm. that we've got uh, i know that i saw it i really like the hover trolley yeah no, i, I, like <laughs> I really like I it i saw the reddit thread saying why didn't someone do a hover trolley well hover actually trolley? that nice. was something we've been working on for quite a while I really really uh, but moving the straight to flyable I hover trolley <laughs> confirmed yeah, yeah. In, in a few minutes <laughs> but the thing that's really good about this because you know obviously the physical trolleys the wheels get Except caught you can't yeah, I mean, just like in the real yeah. world right uh and you've got problems of going upstairs and all the rest of them <laughs> just like you would in the real world uh is that it sort of just make everything up the potential, float. and this really plays yet really another way to die. Modern <laughs> for certain things, like you'll you'll see in what we show here, but for the PU, it's yes. actually give much us more more interesting because you know now you have the we march to unflinching, our, like, unflinchingly bigger, towards um, our doom. Cargo containers, of right? Ones you can't right. just pick up yourself. We originally had this design where there was sort of a gravel level system. Okay. The racing's not, yeah, not a threat enough to my character's thing, life. I need, <laughs> come up, I need then, more. You know, you can push Tower trolleys will be good for know, jump down. Yeah, probably. And we're moving for physicalized cargo. Dude, uh, there's always... Every time I try to go um, and like, practice racing a few at Snake Pit, there's always like um, in, but, pirates um, there for like somebody's mission. And I always get killed. I don't even get a chance to go through the damn track. Too far in the, until, in and then the I get shot future. down by like, a hammerhead. This allows you it's just chilling there for some reason. To not you know, just have your tractor beam and pick up something and move it around. But, you know, okay, let's have a bigger container. And what happens if... You okay? Turn it on, up it goes, and then you just push it into your cargo hold. Oh. So it into the cargo grid, and now that cargo oh, grid okay. is like the bigger one. Well, you know, what that's cool. Like, right now, in the inventory system, you can. I zoned out. What did he say? Your, your uh, inventory. He's your saying uh, cargo uh, containers yeah, will have like an anti grav system oh, on them, like, like big cargo okay, containers. Whatever. So you just like turn the gravity like off on them, and then you can just like push them into your cargo bay, and then turn it back on, and they. All sorts of stuff in it, so That'd I could load up nice, yeah. this container. So that would make I could push it into my ship. Um, then I could when, fly like, it with like physicalized cargo and stuff. That'll make to, loading stuff you know, much easier. Yeah. that that actually kind of downplays the importance of having an Argo cargo. Yeah, and I can like basically load up a bunch um, of stuff. Because the whole reason that one was so good is like because it would be it's going to be just way easier. It's still going to be a lot easier, but it's it's less. You know the underlying sort of hover impactful because it's less difficult. It's really it's good. just it's, it's just like really um the, I, I see the I see the Argo the as just like uh, just like a shuttle to take doing, personnel or cargo be between gameplay, capital ships be around, basically around the logistics of, of not the impulse right? like how do I how do I have my food the how Argo drinks, cargo how do I have my raw materials how do I have my weapons? isn't that what it's called the bigger one two orgs are fighting a war no the SRV. 
someone's got to show up with extra no, the, the, one that, you know, ammo, the, no, and, the one that's like in you know, between all that kind of stuff and or it's like a step up from the impov by like a couple steps up but it has like the stuff, the three okay, well, cargo cracks where can grab full containers maybe there's full size containers field repair is it the raft the raft sorry i thought it was another weapon man i'm blown up and I think the the benefit of the uh, of the sorry, raft is you can just land somewhere and then just like drop the containers on, on the floor. Putting in it's being it, loading it fast and being able to drop it off fast. Yeah. Into the PU, but in the PU they just have like that'll be probably good for better for smuggling. Like, like well, yeah. I mean smuggling. the biggest thing about yeah. trolleys is when we approach trolleys. Um, and physical not really trolleys, though, because it's really obvious what you're carrying unless you have one we want them to serve a purpose that is more traditional games. Well, they're stored inside the like containers in the back. That allows me to create. That's true. But like doing like military drop offs would be better than alternative. The box over here. You don't even really have to land it, which is. Kind of what the more physical and it's trolleys. Just like, you can just of, fly over and make sure they've got for. parachutes on them. And, just... uh, and this is another example where we kind of put trolleys into the PU, but there wasn't really a, uh, a use case or best use case. So that at the moment they're just used as enemies. So I've seen people fly those missiles out of ships, <laughs> but they, they're not really utilized. What's he talking what about? Want to use. And then you've got oh, trolleys. He said the other yeah. side of trolleys, which is we want them to be used for cargo. Loading. People are using trolleys now, as again, missiles. We've got a lot of ships. We've got yeah, they're like ramps, the most deadly thing in the verse of besides larger. elevators. And with hover trolleys. What Crazy. you know when you see the video, you can push them downstairs. You can push them up any ramp. You know <laughs> the, the, the weight that you're having to physically push a physical trolley, which is taken into account. Hover trolleys. You don't have to worry about that because, you know, let's play the video. Let's see the video. Let's the video there and you, we've you can see it. Oh, it's like a coffin. Yeah. the most amazing thing in the world. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, have a trolley. So you can see here, this is actually a, a, um, a slaver a pod. pod. So, it yeah. closes down. It's on the floor. Oh. You activate it. You put sleeves in these. Levitate it off. Grab the gloves on. You get hold of it. Bam. And by the way, our new, the that, new interaction system's not working. Yes, in, in that's funny. That here. grabbing animation is Separate bad. <laughs> but, or you know, the, they see, say it's because they don't have yeah. bulk heads. Bulk yeah, they don't have the, the new thing. Still so slow. But this is essentially a, a really big improvement for us because we want, you know, we want yeah. physical cargo. And we, we, Where are we they taking them? What is really that? A this looks like a new... You don't have to move that car. You have to make decisions. They're taking it to a cut list. You load it up, not just buy it from a kiosk and it appear in your ship. So this Did gives us the ability colors? to do that. And yeah. Like yeah. It says know. move I much like, larger I things. I don't have my glasses, so I couldn't read it. Push as a human being. Yeah, it hovers, but it'll still kill you if you take it over the bump. Oh, it looks fairly smooth. As long as it's grab lever equipped and has the sort of hover device. Then, Interesting. Uh, you, you know, like I said, you could have large. Uh, I like this. And stuff like that. And this is all underpinned. Oh, you by know the what? Technology, so the same With uh, having persistent hangers, you can have bigger hangers that can hold multiple ships. Oh, yeah. Larger ships. If you need. That's to dope. Them. I really so like that. You're moving things around uh, on your homestead, or because that's like down at the end where the um. Okay. Show us where... going a direction other than straight. And okay. I've actually, we've actually had this working on a planet. It so you can turns just push this over planet okay. Train. Don't let go. You stay stable, because right. uh, it, it doesn't actually undulate. Uh, unless there's unless there's something actually physically touching it, so it allows it to be much more stable. The walking down the stairs with its little uh, jank. Yeah, a little yeah. little bit jank, <laughs> but he didn't <laughs> die. It would have been really funny if he died. <laughs> if uh, just yeah, killed the him. force field there is kind of cool. Snap yeah, that's neat. That reminds me of um, reliably move them without frustration. Again, you can see it wasn't Mandalorian. It was kind of the Mandalorian. It was it was in it was about the Mandalorian. It was in the book of Boba Fett. Straight you as you play the game. They were having the duel over like the on like the catwalk just like above space. There's like a force field down below. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, so we've talked about a number of things now that's a cool area. Related to the player, to the first person stuff like that.